I'm Don Manning. I work for IBM starting in 1957 and basically spent my career in the printer department developing it in Glendale here in Endicott, New York. One of the first printers that I got involved in was the 1403 printer that was announced along with the 1401 system in 1959. And it was a profitable system. IBM did well with it. I think we sold 10,000 systems on it. A lot of salesmen said that the printer was a good part of the system that really made it good for the customer. So the first printer that was on it is this printer. It was called the 1403, part of the 1401 system. Uh, it printed at 600 lines a minute on fan fold paper that walked through the printer on it and the mechanism fit up through here and the actual printer mechanism on it is what we called a chain. It was a continuous band of 240 characters of 48 characters each in the array. A, the alphabet plus special characters made up the 48 character set and there was five of them on there so they were continuously running past the paper and in front of what we called the hammer unit behind the paper. This is actually what we call the back printer. The paper came up, the type are here in front going past, and then a ribbon, this black thing had a big sheet ribbon down through, and then there was the paper. The hammers would drive the paper against the ribbon, against the type at the proper time, and then to print the character that you wanted. 132 columns of hammers, they print that wide on a tenth of an inch spacing. This is how the inside of the printers work. This is what we call the swing casting that swings out the actual chain mechanism to expose the paper. And this is the row of 132 hammers. You can see the faces of them there that come out and actually drive against the paper like that, against the ribbon and against the chain that I'll show you in behind here. This is adjustable, as you can see the holes for different widths papers. Here is the ribbon separator. Separates for smudge purposes the paper from the ribbon that I'll take off. And if you look very closely here, you can actually see the chain, the face of the type, all along here. And it's this wide, goes around and around continually, constantly running. So you have to time it. When an H, for instance, is part of the column you want, that's when you fire that particular hammer to print that H in that column. If you want the H down here, you wait till it gets down there and then fire that hammer and it prints the H. So that's basically how it works. The type runs all the time. That's 90 inches a second. It goes around. Ribbon comes up. You slide it into there on your thing. Tighten it up a little bit. If you want to put on a new ribbon, it's the process, and you shut it up and hit the go button kind of thing, and paper starts printing on whatever the, whatever the computer is telling you to print. So it spaces the paper up, prints a line, spaces up another, prints a line, and it has a high-speed ejection. If you're doing like addresses on a card and you print one section, three lines for the address, you skipped on the next one, there was a high speed skip that shot the paper up faster. Quite a lot of throughput. Now the tractors, tractors that actually feed the paper here are powered over here by a unit that is strictly mechanical. It's hydraulic, in fact. It's called the hydraulic unit. It, it has a hydraulic motor where you continuously running oil pump that continually moves the oil. And by selecting valves electronically, little spool valves, it puts oil into gear motors that are the hydraulic motors push oil in, makes the gears turn, and the gears, of course, are attached to the shaft that moves the paper. There were envelopes that had printing on the inside contact pressure 
uh, initiated. The form was already already put together and licked and ready to be shipped. All you had to do was print on it because of the special paper inside it would, and the impact would cause it to print internally on the internal sheet of paper, never having to stuff sheets of printed paper into envelopes. It was already in that package. These printers basically, for some operations, would have a dozen of these printers in a room running 24-7 all day long, all night, just so they had a, they had operators that his main job was just to keep paper in the printer because these were workhorse printers. They, they were not your desktop personal printers of any kind. This is the 600 line a minute printer that first came out and was very successful for IBM.